Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video tutorial on Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get X Model Utility. Now, this is for everybody who's been working on World at War. You know, if you've been dealing with the World at War Mod Tools and you've been a part of that community, you should already know about the X Model Utility. But if you don't, today's your lucky day. Now, this is a program that lets you export X Models from world at war that's built into the files already now what you're going to do is i'm going to have a link down in the description you're going to go to this website tomcrawley.co.uk and you're going to go over to downloads now we're going to be using this site a few times because there's quite a lot of handy tools in here and you know we're going to be using it for black ops 3 in a certain way you know there's going to be a slight variance of what we're going to be doing so for this video we're going to be downloading uh tom x model utility version one so click on that download it it's going to give you a raw file there you go it's that quick all right so i'm going to open this bad boy up and i'm going to export it to the desktop there we go. All right, let me close this out. Don't need you anymore. All right, now here is the program. Let me move all this other stuff. All right, so here it is, the folder that contains the program. Now, when you double click on it, it's gonna open up like this and it's asking me to update. I'll do that later. Now, when you open up the program, it's gonna be blank because it doesn't have, you're not navigating to any models that you have. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to settings and over here, let's say if you had Call of Duty 4, you can set the path to the game and it'll show you the models from that uh, particular version of Call of Duty. And there's also Call of Duty 5 and Call of Duty Black Ops. Now for the Black Ops one, you're going to have to have the mod tools because the mod tools for Black Ops, the original Black Ops 1, as you have to make sure that you get those mod tools for it to actually extract the models from that game. So that's pretty easy. All you, all you would have to do is just pretty much just download it on Steam and you're good to go from there. But for me, I'm just going to navigate to where my Call of Duty 5 is, my World at War. I'm going to click on these lines. Now, me, I have it on my on one of my other separate drives. So I'm going to navigate to those. Let me see. Where are you? Um, network. This PC. Okay, here we go. And it should be over here. And here it is, World at War. Let me click on that. Click OK. Now it's going to ask me. Let me see. It's set. Now, active game. Now, right now it's set to Call of Duty 4. So I'm going to put it on Call of Duty 5. Click save. It might ask you, do you want to scan the folder? You could just say, yeah. And then here you go. Here are all my models. Now I actually have models that I, um, when I was messing around with the World at War mod tools, I was actually importing models from Black Ops 2 into this. So you might see a little bit of everything in here. Like here's some Black Ops 2 models. Like I took them out, but these are all models you can basically export over to black ops 3 and you can also put this into maya in case you want to modify them or at least make a brand new bin file so like let's say if i'm looking for a table it'll show me all the tables you see the static table look at this one there's that table there's this one this one over here that one this one that one you know, it's, it's quite a few models we could still be using in Black Ops 3. This is actually the workbench I think uh, we're using, or at least it's similar to it. Me, I changed mine up, but it's still cool that it's there. There you go. And now let's say if I want to put this into Maya and I want to take this table. What I'm going to do is right click it. No, actually, no. Uh, I'm going to go over here. So export MA export obj export x um that's for the x model itself but if i want to put it into maya i'm going to put click on export ma click on that 
All right, that means it exported it. Now, if I go over to the export folder, and here's the information for it. And it also exports the images for me. So if I'm gonna be converting it over an ape, it'll be uh, pretty easy to do. All right, so let's uh, give this a try. Let's open up Maya, see what it looks like. I'm getting a little tongue tied today. What's up with me? I need my coffee. All right, Maya's opening up. Now, all I would do is just navigate to the MA file. Let me go to my desktop. And it should be under Tom's X model utility. There you go. Exported. And here it is. Static, CLO. And let me look for the MA file. And it's this one right over here. MA01. Do I want to save? No. And here it is. There's the table. Now I could press five, put it into shaded mode. And now the reason it came out in this direction is because I didn't set the the settings because Call of Duty is a Z up world. Right now it's on Y. So let me change that. Go over to settings. Z, up access, Y. Let me switch that to Z. Click save. And there it is. And there's the table that I just exported. All right, so let's say if you want to modify the table, all you would do is just select the table. And pretty much right now, all the pieces are frozen. So what you would do is you're going to go over to Mesh and Separate. There you go. Now I can move individual pieces. Check that out. Hey, look at the bottom of the table. That's cool. Let me uh, Control Z and put that back. And you know, you can change the textures. And then let's say if you want to export it, I'm going to show you a video on that because I have to be a little bit more detailed when I explain this. But you know, you go over to export. Well, actually save the model first. Go to file, go to save scene as. Now I'm going to put it in a certain spot that way I'll know where I'm exporting it. Let me see, I'll make a new folder. My export there we go all right so I'm double click on that and let me call this exactly what it's already called which is static c low let me just copy that i'm getting lazy exported copy that all right back over to Maya and I'm gonna save it and it's gonna let me navigate back to that folder that I made it was called my export there you go and let me put in this name you take off the end there you go all right now I'm gonna save it yes continue all right now in order for you to export the model you're gonna have to select everything. So go to select all, there you go. In fact, let me combine it back the way it was. Combine, well, select all and combine. That way I can move it around and none of the pieces will be loose. All right, so there it is. Now you wanna make sure that you select everything. Just highlight everything. Oh, that didn't work. Select all to select everything and then go over to the Call of Duty tools and we're going to go to export X model. Click on that. Now leave it on slot one. Now save two. We're going to save it to that folder I made also. So desktop and we're going to go over to what was it? My export. Where are you? There you go. I'll click on that and we'll make keep the same name for it there you go and I'm gonna call it one just to make sure to see which one is different click OK uh, save selection and let's see 
get save selection no export do you want to save no and there we go now if I go back over to my folder where I um, have my exports as you can see I have a bin file now and now I can actually import it into Black Ops 3 so it's that simple and of course the texture files that I need they're all right here and export it go to images and these are the images that you need now with these images they're in um, TGA files so we're gonna be using a program called Kronos in order to convert these so I actually have the program right here Kronos let me open it up and it's gonna have a part where you convert the images so I'll just take all of these pop them in there and if I look at the file type now it's a TIFF file so now you can actually import it into Black Ops 3 but I'm gonna show you guys that in a separate video now remember the link for the X model utilities is gonna be down in the description and you know that's basically for anyone who's been exporting models and putting them into world at war you'll be able to get easy access to those if you still have it you know and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to export models from Black Ops 3 the ones that we don't currently don't have in game right now so uh, if you like the video hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one to show you guys how to put it into ape and make it show up in your game thanks for watching